It's official. Nova Scotia's Tassel Minor Hockey Association has won the Kruger Big Assist Grand Prize. In total, they are receiving $100,000. This is all to give kids more access to play hockey. Chuck Linney is the league's fundraising coordinator and joins us now. Chuck, congratulations. Thank you, Kelsey. It was uh, very amazing to find out that we won that contest. Oh my gosh, I can only imagine. How are you and everyone at the Tassel Minor Hockey Association feeling right now? Uh, both shocked and excited. Um, we didn't think that, you know, in our little community, in our little province, that we'd be able to compete with some of these bigger areas. And, you know, out of the five that were selected, we're the only from the Atlantic provinces. So very excited to find that news. You know, we're all watching TSN with anticipation, waiting to find out uh, who won. And surprisingly, it was us. So we were thrilled to find that out. Yeah, no kidding. So the finalists all got $25,000. You got the grand prize of $75,000, bringing that total to $100,000. I got to ask, what's yeah. the money going towards? So we, um, it's going to go to a few different things. We're looking to expand on our um, financial assistance program. Uh, we currently have one in place, but with not near the budget we're going to have. So we're looking to kind of remove that financial barrier for kids to, to get into hockey. Um, we're creating a new program for equipment lending and renting, um, especially for like new kids joining hockey. It's a big expense to get outfitted in gear and, and parents will often um, decide not to join hockey for that reason, just in case they spend all that money and their child doesn't enjoy hockey. Mm -hmm. And we're looking to also improve on our diversity and inclusion initiatives, and which includes like cultural responsive training for our coaches and volunteers, um, trying to target some underrepresented areas in our community and get them on the ice as well as promoting female hockey. Chuck, this is also awesome. As someone who, whose family is also involved in hockey and who runs a lot of teams, I get the sky's the limit for you guys right now with this. And it I can't is. help but think of what has happened in Nova Scotia over the last couple of years. Last year, obviously, the wildfires. We talked about it so extensively here on the show. And I imagine you had families as well who were impacted by them. Absolutely. Um, the fires actually started pretty much across the street from our house. So um, definitely we know a lot of people that either had severe damage to their homes or lost their homes completely. So it, uh, but you know, it definitely showed the resilience of this community when it happened and everyone coming back and you know, coming together to support us and, and the entire community. So, uh, you know, with all the negative that happened in the fire, there were some positives that we, we found. Well, and how was the league involved in supporting those families? Yeah, well, a lot of our children were displaced. Um, you know, there were six thousand or 16,000 people displaced from their homes and 150 homes destroyed. So with that was hockey gear. Um, so we had a lot of people in the community step up and we were able to outfit the kids who lost their gear and, and get them into new gear. And, and those who were displaced from their homes and had to move outside of the TAS area, we were able to accommodate them and, and make sure they were on you know teams with their friends and that we were able to arrange transportation. So at least they had some sort of normalcy in their life still. Oh my gosh, I bet. Chuck, you don't do a job like yours unless you really believe in what you're doing and you've been involved with the league for many years. What are some of the benefits that you think hockey provides? Uh, hockey obviously builds a lot of um, positive character traits like resilience, discipline. Um, it teaches about camaraderie and, and how to play on a team and, and a lot of accountability. So it's, you know, being on the ice is great. And it's not just the physical activity that's that you get from hockey, but it also translates to a lot of lifelong um, character traits and a lot of creates a lot of lifelong friendships as well. I know me personally, a lot of my close friends are, are people who I played hockey with when we were kids and people I play hockey with now. So I, I think it definitely builds um, great people. We always say to our team, it's not about just teaching people how to skate and to stick handle and to get that goal, but it's about having the opportunity to raise good humans. Absolutely. And yes. I think hockey does a great job of that. 100%. How are you feeling today about the Kruger Big Assist program? Uh, Friday morning, all the help that it will provide to hockey associations right across the country. How are you feeling? We're, we're extremely excited. And, you know, we wasted no time. We The announcement was Tuesday, 8.20, our time. And... Um, within minutes, we're on the phone with other executives thinking, okay, like, w where are we going to start with this? How can we reach as many people in our community as possible? And how can we, you know, diversify the sport and help grow it? So it's, uh, we're, we're very excited and we're meeting again this Sunday and uh, we'll soon be reaching out to members of our community and our organization and kind of getting feedback on how they would like to see this money allocated to really involve more people in the sport and, and help kids get on the ice and figure why we're so passionate about it. Awesome. Chuck, well, we're so thankful to have you here and congratulations again. Thanks so much, Kelsey. Really appreciate it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.